I feel a little frisky, so today, we're gonna do two robots. And for those of you just joining in, this is Mega Man Day in the Limelight. It's, it's plenty of fun. I got a download link, so play it if you want. You don't have to, but it'd be cool to. You might be surprised. Instead of just me being surprised for you. But I will at least try to be surprised for you if you choose not to be. I hope that's enjoyable. And if it's not, then I have failed in my endeavors. But this is the Heat Man level, and it seems quite similar to how it was in Mega Man 2. All of them have, really, but... I... I gotta say, this one deviates pretty quickly. And I like it. That's good news for people that get easily bored. I'm not one of them, but, uh, I don't know. Just try to be excited. Like this? This... this is not too common. And this is where things are brand new. Well, what are we to do? Climb lava? No, we climb FROZEN lava! You fool. Now keep it frozen, though, because it will come unfrozen if you take too long. So don't just lollygag. If you lollygag, you are burnt to cinders, my friend. So don't do it! Props Okay. Good times, man. Climbing lava. In hindsight, I don't think that I needed to freeze those two, uh, little lava pillars. But, you know, I'll let Iceman do it. It's his draw de vivre to freeze things. And typically, he's not a big fan of, uh, disappearing blocks, though. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping in the future he'll be a little more careful. But I like what they do with disappearing blocks. It's it may not seem like much yet, but it's soon enough they'll get pretty creative, and I like that. Creativity is a big plus in my book. Oh boy, some help. Good try, Ice Man. Health will not do you much good when you're dead, though, Ice Man. I hope you're aware of this. Now, I'm not entirely sure what just happened there, but I will let it slide, because I like this level, and I will give it a pass. I think I fell through the lava, but we can just pretend that didn't happen. Here's what we're talking about, though. This is creative use of disappearing blocks. I like that. And what else can they do? They can appear in that pit, and you gotta be careful. You don't want to jump on the lava, and that's easy to do. More disappearing goodness. I like this. I mean, granted, you, you don't get crushed, like, if you're in between a set of blocks, you just get kind of pushed forward, so don't worry about that. But I'm enjoying this level. I, I truly think this and the next level I do are going to be a lot of fun. This is probably, like, my third favorite level. There are some tricks that I, I get a little finicky on. That's mainly because I'm not that great. Like, these lava drips are scary. And if one hit, you will fall back in most spots. And don't freeze them when they're too tall for you to jump. It's a, a, a negative atmosphere for you, Iceman. You can't jump that high. You do not got the hops. And you froze that one too high, you silly boy. Oh, crud. Alright, back, back to action, Iceman. Just get to be a little more confident in yourself. You gotta freeze them things down lower. And I would complain about that and be like, Oh man, why are they giving me a section where I just can't be level? Well, that's it's not entirely accurate. Because every Mega Man game does it. Every time there's an enemy that pops out of a pit in a Mega Man game, it's doing the same thing that they just did here. It's nothing that big of a deal, nothing to whine about. I'll give it a pass. This level's good. To me, this level is a good friend to my family. It's donated much money in times of need. I like it. Freeze it until he's... Perfect! Tellies are never too bad. And I like that when you freeze these guys, make it fire out of them. They, they just, they're, they don't die, they just stand there to be platforms. They don't make much use out of that here, but I think it's just funny anyway. I can freeze an inferno out of them. It's a regular paradox. Now, there isn't much reason for this guy to be here, he's just kind of decorating. 
I mean, it'd be cool if, like, you could jump on him and, like, get up to the secret area. Dice man, get off him. Stop playing around. Get down there. These guys are just unnecessary because they jump past them. Maybe they actually want you to kill them. I don't know. I certainly will not. I'll let them live their life of obscurity. That was dumb freezing, but this is a fun part of the level. I like this. This is a creative little puzzle. I don't know if it's really what you call a puzzle. It's nice platform and action. Get up there. Now, just know that when you freeze the, uh, the lava plume, it will go straight down and then come back up. So, you're not gonna... You're not gonna miss it, it's gonna reset for you, and I like that, I appreciate it, and I don't mind waiting a little while for it, because it's pretty much up to you when you freeze it, and that's, that's what I like it, that's what I like above the Fireman gimmicks, because those just kinda happen, but I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that, I already got that on my system. Dumb jump, dumb jump. Um, now don't fire the Ice Slasher all willy-nilly, though. Because if you do, you're in dangerous trouble. And it will freeze that thing when you don't want it to, and you'll have to wait. So just be smart. Come on now. Don't scare me, Tellies. You can spawn the Tellies off-screen by just jumping up or going down if they're coming from above. It doesn't really matter. You, they're not that hard to deal with. Don't worry about them too much. This is tricky jump, though. You gotta... There you go. But I do like that if you keep it frozen, you can kind of check if your jump is enough to get up there, and if it isn't, you can just kind of hop back down and wait for it to unfreeze, come back up, and give it another shot. There's no... that You can rarely really screw yourself by freezing it at the wrong spot. You, can, you always have another chance. I like that. It's well appreciated. We're on to Heat Man now, and his gimmick is pretty much the same as it was in his original boss fight. Nothing's really changed. But that's okay, Heat Man. Heat Man's been a one trick pony all of his career. Just shooting fire, teleporting. Nothing too incredible. I mean, if you don't jump over him, I mean, you'll probably think he's really incredible, but. I don't know. Might be able to kill him this time around, though. I promise you. Run into some fire and embarrass myself. I, I, round two, Heat Man. Round two. We're gonna, we're gonna impress all the ladies by sliding and not jumping. Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I think Ice Man's feet are a little slippery. But that's how he fought in Mega Man One, so I can't even be like, "Ooh, this nonsense! How dare they make me have to adjust myself?" This is preposterous. No, this is fun. I like this. Stop putting words in my mouth! Oh, well. Uh, one more hit on both of us. This is truly a showdown. Good. Good. Good job, Iceman. I give you my full support. Stop freezing things. You're being ridiculous, and you know that. Knock it off. Go home. You have to rest for a while. Now, who are we using next? You must be asking. Well, it's Cutman, right? No! It's Alec Man. I, I, I didn't mean to be so stern with you. I'm sorry. Uh, now, okay. One, you can open these doors with thunder beams. Two, Alec Man is like the coolest robot master. Three, this music is really good, and four, this whole stage is really awesome. It's probably like my favorite stage of the whole experience. And the first in these six stages is totally my fave. Not even fooling you, dog. And you can get the volts going through these things, which you use to open this door. I could, I really feel like they had a bunch of ideas for this level and they were excited to implement them all. And you could really tell, like, it comes across as really fun. I like this a bunch. So if you play this game, just keep in mind that the Elegman Man level is a good time. So even if, like, even if you whine about the Fireman level, like I do, just know that the Elegman Man level makes up for it plenty. It's so fun, I'm telling you. I, I trust you, believe me. And this, I think, is kind of funny. Maybe I'm just easily amused. That is entirely likely. 
but I do get a chuckle by them flying up in the air. And you'd think that it'll just fall into the pit, but no. They're one step ahead of you. Whoop! Got it. This is another trick. Like they, they got tricks out the wazoo that I am always fooled by because I'm a naive child. But th these are the best rooms in the whole thing. I'm telling you. Just cause watch this. You get one mole and it, like ricochets, and it breaks a thousand of them, and you get another one. This isn't even the best room in the whole level yet. Just you wait. I promise you, it gets even better. Now this. I don't really care, I'll take damage from that guy. And in hard mode, I do recall the, uh, there are two little Springer guys on the bottom, but it doesn't make it that much worse. And this, I, I don't really care. I'm sure there's a better way to get through it, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Oh golly, this looks like another trick I must triumph over. You gotta break the wheels, get the electricity to flow upward. Because after you break an Alec Beam, or an Alec Beam destroys something, it shoots electricity all over the place in four directions. Yep. Yep. Watch out for these wheels. One will ricochet. Get out of there. Alec Man, you are the coolest robot match you don't even know. And yes! Level rocks! Watch this. You don't even have to break all of you don't even have to open all the hatches or whatever, I just like doing it. And these things are from Super Mario World, and I'm kind of of two minds on them. Like, I like, I think it's funny that they got the, the sprite from another game, I think that's kind of amusing. But then I start to get all excited, like, oh my god, they're gonna rip sprites from every game and make the best thing I've ever seen, but they don't do that, for the most part. But I can't really complain about things that I expected them to do. I just, I guess I got too excited at the prospect of them doing a bunch of bad attempts at avoiding saws. I, I do like this, though. I like the little saws. I just started assuming too much. So don't get all excited. They do new things with sprites, but nothing, not necessarily anything quite like the sprite. You know what? Never mind. Enough about the stupid saws. Because they do something similar anyway, and I'm, I just remembered it. Get going, Alec, man. Be ready. You're fast, aren't you? That's why you've got electricity running through your veins. Perfect. Oh, this is not... Should not have jumped there, but... You know... We all view the future. 2020 vision. I don't know. It's too expensive. Come on, Alec Man. Oh, you throw in your Alec Beams. Your Thunder Beams. Your Alec Beams. Whatever you wish to call them. They don't make you any faster, Alec Man. Stop it. You're just being cocky. Look at you. Look at him. He's so arrogant. His little eyes slope downwards. You know, he's just looking down on everybody. Wish Alec Man was a playable character in every video game. Especially wacky races. Now this, you just have to let them go back and forth, get out of there, and hippity hop. Excellent. Now you can jump again. Just be very careful. You never know when you're gonna die because of them saws. Well, you do because they go in a very linear pattern. But you shouldn't die because they'll scare you and make you lose a life. Enough saws, because now we're at the King of the Saws himself, it's Metal Moon. And you'd think that I'd be amazing at this fight, because you get to play as the best robot master in Mega Man 1 against the crummiest of Mega Man 2. Maybe maybe him and Bubble Man are a tie. It doesn't really matter, because Metal Man is giving me more of a challenge than I was expecting. But I can give a very good reason for that. I wasn't expecting to only use one Thunder Beam per screen, because it takes a while for it to disappear, because it's a huge weapon. And I'm not complaining, like, that is the flaw in the game, I'm just saying I wasn't used to doing that. I was used to, as Mega Man, using three shots, and then usually it'd go well. But now I'm a little more on target, I'm focusing on definitely hitting him, unless I don't. In which case, then I just cry and run and jump around like a fool. 
But I think I've got him this time. I'm fairly pleased. One more hit, maybe? Awesome! Well, that's all for this. I've got one more to go. Unless there's some castle or something, but that sounds asinine. If you've got any questions, leave them below. If you've got any complaints, you can do that too. I'm all good. Thank you for watching. I hope we'll see you next time. Later.